Well, the first thing I would do is ask the UN to move to Switzerland and resign <laughs> from the UN. <laughs> the UN was a corrupt organization from its very inception with Soviet mm. Russia, the bloodiest dictatorship in history as one of the charter members with veto power over the rest of the world, including the United States' action. It was a, a, an attempt by status at the time to establish world government and destroy American sovereignty, which it's succeeding in doing. So I'd, I'd get rid of that altogether. But if you're asking how would I reshape diplomacy, it, it would have to be according to one principle. America's interests are first, and the only interest of this government is what is, advances America. Now, America does not succeed by conquest and never has. America requires only to be left alone. It is not injured by foreign dictatorships if we're strong because they're terrified of attacking us. Therefore, it is not our responsibility to save any dictatorship or the subjects of it around the world. It is our responsibility, uh, in terms of our diplomacy and our purpose, to stay home, mind our own business, and have a tremendous military, so that if anybody dreams of attacking an American citizen or American interest here or abroad, you know in the 19th century, the way they kept peace for so many decades was what they called gunboat diplomacy. If some pipsqueak country anywhere touched a British citizen, the next day the gunboats were in the harbor and they, they left Britain totally alone. That was British diplomacy. Of course, when they became socialists, they gave it up. Uh, and uh, look where they are now as part of our coalition. That is all diplomacy is. And, and that's all it has to be. No, we don't need alliances. None of our allies are of any use to us. All we need is the will to defend ourselves and no one would even attack us. It's fantastic for Americans to wonder how to treat the rest of the world. It's up to the rest of the world to wonder how to treat us. America.